Hey everyone, Andrew here with ACR Protect. Thanks for stopping by. Wanted to bring you a video on my updated EDC. And I know, I, I just, that was like my first video uh, about two and a half, three months ago. But some things changed uh, in what I'm carrying a little bit. And it, it all kind of, I think it all starts with, you got to determine what you want to carry. <clears throat> And then you have to, your clothes have to be adjusted to, to accommodate what you're carrying. And so what happened with me, um, I work in more of a business environment. Uh, and I was wearing these, uh, I guess, kind of like a tactical BDU pant. They're they're made by proper they have like the cargo pockets on the side and and uh, I thought they looked nice <clears throat> but I was informed by my boss that I needed to have something a little more business oriented which is frustrating after I threw my little tantrum and whatnot I was like okay you know you gotta you gotta kind of figure something out here so because I want my pockets right I want my pockets I want to be able to hold my stuff but I have to look the part so I went to my local 511 store and um, talked to the one of the service reps there and said, hey, here's what I'm trying to do. I, you know, I have the stuff that I want to carry. However, I need to be in a business environment. And so I can't, I need to have pockets, but I don't, they can't be seen, I guess, if that makes any sense. And this dude was awesome. He's like, follow me. And he lined me up with the perfect pair of pants and again this is you know 511 makes some good stuff I, I i enjoy their stuff um and they've come like a long way uh the, the technology on all this stuff is amazing um so i'm going to turn the camera around i'm going to look at the pants uh which i know it's like oh great we're going to look at pants uh but no i'm going to show you the pants and then i'm going to put my stuff in the pants as I carry it so that you kind of get an idea of why I went with these pants and, and why it makes sense for what I'm carrying. So let me flip it around, stand by one. All right, so here we go. Here's everything laid out. Got the pants and, and the stuff on the, the right side of the screen is what's going in there. Um, little side note, uh, as soon as I started filming, one of my damn neighbors on the back side of the fence decided to climb up on his roof and use his blower for like 45 minutes clearing off his roof. I, I was pissed. Uh, so hopefully they're done now so we can do this without any, any more interruptions. So the pants right here, it's like a kind of like a charcoal gray. I have them in this and then like a, like a khaki tan. It's, it's kind of in between, you know, you know, I love khaki. Um, so these are, the 511 Chino 2.0s. Um, they look just like a, a dress pant. Um, they, they, but everything is just, it's functional towards someone that, that wants to have more pockets and concealed carry and, <clears throat> and still fit in a business setting. Um, so we'll kind of flip it around and look at the pockets here in just a second, but the, the material, this stuff has come a long way. Like, I, and I'm, I apologize if I'm not saying the, the correct terminology, but it's like a, it's like a flex, a flexible material in these pants. They have a little bit of, a little bit of give to them. I don't know if you can kind of see that on camera. So when you're wearing them and you're moving, you know, like if I'm climbing in my truck, it sits up a little bit higher. I don't have like some monster truck or anything, but you know, if you're wearing like a regular pair of pants, and they're a little loose or baggy, they kind of sick and you kind of get shut down. Th these allow for some flexibility. So you can move and, you know, I, I was joking around with the, the sales guys, like, holy hell, I can do karate in these damn things, you know? Not that I do karate, but one could, right? So, um, if we look at them, they have this this very big pocket. It's, it's deep, you can get your hand in there. Uh, it has this little notch right here that's cut out, it works perfect. It's, re, you know, reinforced for putting your your knives or clips or, uh, you know, clips for your knives in there. Uh, it just works. Um, 
flip them around again. The, this side here, same thing, same pocket. Where it gets interesting is on the back. Sorry, kind of have to fold these so you can see. So, damn winds giving me hell again today too. So you got your regular rear pocket, right? And then right above it, you've got this little pocket right here. Um, conveniently, it holds an AR or an AK mag just perfect, just so you know. The other side, the right side, again, same thing. Got your little rear pocket there and this little AR pocket right there, AR mag pocket. And then <clears throat> you have a third one right down here on the uh, the right-hand side, you know, just, just below and kind of behind that, that front pocket. Kind of see that the shadows are messing with me here a little bit. But what I wanted to do, because I already kind of went through the stuff, right? Most of the stuff you've already seen in my first video. Um, and so I'm not going to really go over it. Uh, some of the stuff I'm just going to move out of the way I put on, I put in here just for, you know, reality purposes. You know, this is actually my, my work phone, my bat phone. Uh, I'm, I'm filming with my personal phone. So obviously that's, that's going in my pocket. I, I'm again, I'm privileged to carry two of these damn things. So <clears throat> I've got that right. Um, I've got a couple pins here, which I, I don't carry in my pockets. Actually, I carry these on my, on my shirts. And one of them, again, I talked about it yesterday, just the zebra pin. It, it, you can't beat them. They're just a good pen. And this was a gift from a buddy of mine. It is a spacecraft. Um, it's actually a really cool pen. It's, it's black, blue, and a mechanical pencil all in one. Um, and so I've really started kind of playing with this a little bit. I like it. Um, but you know how it is with good pens. People try to steal that shit all the time. So, uh, usually keep those in my, my shirt pocket or, or suit pocket or whatever I'm wearing, whatever type of jacket. But the rest of this stuff is all going, going in the pants. So if we start with the left side here, first thing that goes in my, my left pocket, my Raven crest out the front knife. Again, awesome knives. Um, it's out of, they're out of Arizona. Check your state laws uh, on these. Uh, again, here in Texas, you can carry, you can carry about everything. Like you, uh, you can literally carry a, a damn samurai sword uh, legally. Uh, now I'm sure you'll get some attention, but you can do that. You can carry any, any size knife or, or whatever. Um, and these are, these are legal or these are legal. I'm sorry. <clears throat> they are legal here. Um, actually what prior to some changing of the laws, what made it illegal was the, uh, double edged, uh, but that's, that's legal now. So what I do with this left pocket right here, it's kind of a bear to do there. All right. Just like that. Next thing we're going to go over here, grab my wallet. Talked about this. This is one of those minimalist wallets. Has the little money clip on there. Has the RFID protection. Um, and it's, you know, even with all my IDs and cards and stuff in there, it's still pretty thick. Um, I could probably pare it down, but it's, it's smaller um, than a regular wallet. And, and I like that. And so this also goes in this pocket here just slides right down in there all right <clears throat> recent ad and i know gosh you know i'm gonna get beat up by some of the the preppers out there i i, I don't smoke um but you know it's always good to have a lighter a way to make fire and i have them in my car i have them in my bags <clears throat> but i don't typically carry one on my person so i've started to do that um but what, you know, what annoys me is that, you know, if something bumps up against the thing right here, the, the fuel, it, you know, discharge in your pocket. So if anyone knows of anything, like a little thing I can put this in to put it in my pocket and cover it, uh, I, I think I saw something by Exotac 
but if anyone has any other suggestions please let me know uh you know throw a comment in there uh, but again you know just a lighter you know that way you can be a a friendly guy and help someone else light a cigarette or whatever start a fire or light fireworks or whatever you know anyhow so that goes in this pocket as well all right i'm gonna turn and flip here Okay, I'm no professional folder of clothes, so cut me some slack there. Okay, so this pocket here, like I said, this is kind of like that little concealed pocket or whatever. Um, <clears throat> I put two things in there. <clears throat> I put my flashlight. All right, this is the Sure uh, Surefire ProTac 2. Runs on the uh, 123 batteries. Um, has like a low high and a strobe. Just a good flashlight. Just It's just a awesome flashlight uh, what I do is I slide that right in here boom the reason I put it there is for my <clears throat> my backup magazine so this is one of the P mag <clears throat> this is actually a 27 rounder and it's not that I'm carrying this to be some Billy badass or whatever I I'm actually trying I've, oh, I've ordered the 21 rounder um, but the problem I was having, and I'll demonstrate, is if you have a 15 rounder or 17 rounder and you put it in this pocket right here, all right, it sits in there, but I'm telling you, it is, it is kind of a pain in the ass to take that out for your, uh, for your reload. Um, can you do it? Yeah. Does it work? Yeah not as optimal as I'd like it to. And so, the larger magazine sits right in there and essentially the flashlight kind of helps hold everything in place. And it stays right there and that is so much easier to grab. Um, the 21 rounder comes up right, right, right here, kind of about where the flashlight is. Like I said, as soon as I get one, I'll put it in there, maybe take a picture of it or whatever to uh, to post on here so you can see. But, you know, I typically carry one extra mag on my person. Um, and then, of course, I have support mags in my, my vehicle and my bags. So, all right. Pants are starting to get heavy now. So, I don't carry anything on this side at the moment. Uh Coming around here. Wife's going to kill me. She's going to have to help me iron all this shit. I can't iron. You would think someone in the military that had been in the military would be able to iron. I, I suck at it. Story for another time, though. Okay. So, EDC knife. Primary uh, primary knife. Open them boxes, letters, whatever. I've been going with the, the Kershaw. Um, it's a little uh, flipper. Um spring-loaded and I'm mainly going with this because it kind of kind of blends with the pants I don't know I, that's um, this was a gift from my buddy Walt uh, if you're watching Walt thank you I love this knife it's great it's it's classic made in the USA uh, my only only complaint is just it's a little a little slippery um, and I can absolutely I can imagine that if you're you're sweaty or something this you could you could drop this but it's you know I like the little stone wash finish on the blade it's sharp uh, does a good job though so this pops right down here <clears throat> keys this is a oh god it's already worn off but um, it's like a key bar it's like a cheap key bar uh, again a Christmas gift from uh, I think from my boys or my wife, um, but it, it does have a way of, you know, you can organize your keys and, and it's, it's pretty awesome. I need to update it because I have a couple keys right here that need to go in here, uh, just so it kind of frees up the keychain. And then I got a little, little Olight, um, flashlight. It just runs on a, a AAA and this, this gets used a lot. Um, sometimes this kind of becomes an EDC light um, if I'm wearing like shorts or something like that and I don't want to carry any extra more any extra stuff in my pocket I've got a 
I've got a flashlight with me because you know you always got your keys, right? So, oh, sounds like that neighbor I was just talking about now, cutting a bunch of wood or whatever. Of course he is. So these slide right in here and just go right above that. Surprisingly, it doesn't really interfere with the withdrawal of the knife there, which is uh, which is pretty cool. All right, Leatherman Wingman might help if I hold it the right way. All right. Talked about this in uh, my first video. Um, multi-tool, I like having a multi-tool. Um, and I really like this one because of the pocket clip. Um, yeah, I know a lot of these multi-tools have all the extra stuff and they're, they're in a pouch and they go on your belt. That's great, I, I, I don't like that. I like, I just want the tool. You know, I'm, I'm not, a, um, I'm not a, a, a wrench turner, to, hats off to all of you that are, I'm not. I'm not that mechanically inclined. Uh, so this does what I need it to do for the most part. That's why that's why I carry it. And this goes right into here, this lower pocket, right like that. Right there, kind of inconspicuous. Boom, we're good to go. All right, and then lastly, you know, for all the gun porn there, Glock 19, it is empty. I got the magazine down there. And from one of my other videos, I told you my mother holster uh, broke on me. So I got a, I got a new one, surprisingly in tan, right? Shocker, never would have guessed that. Just an inside the waistband holster. Um, and that, so I was gonna put a belt on these pants and try to do this uh, to show. Uh, but it was not working when I was doing my little test runs here, but um, I'm right-handed. And so mine just, when it's on here, typically tucks right about here. Boom, just like that. I'm leaving the magazine out there. And, uh, and that's what we're looking at. You see, and now it is kind of heavy. It, I do have a lot of EDC. Uh, that I carry on my on my person um, and so it's really all on what you're comfortable with um, so with the magazine like I said the the smallest spare magazine I will carry is a 17 round magazine um, that way if I'm carrying a Glock 19 a Glock 26 Glock 17 a Glock 45 it doesn't matter the, ma the spare magazine will fit it'll hang out uh, it hangs out a lot, you know, you can see it all. Slap it in here so you can, I mean, yeah, it's, but it works. It does work. So there we go, folks. That's it. Just wanted to bring you an EDC update. Talk about, uh, some great pants again. Uh, you know, I bought these. It's not like. 511 gave these to me or anything but they uh they really work they have some good products uh, and the staff that i ran into was awesome like they were able to help me out and get me exactly what i needed uh, they you know they have they also have the cool guy pants you know the the camouflage and all that stuff um uh, again i i sadly i do not live uh out in the country uh, i don't have an acreage uh kudos to all of you that do i think that's awesome one of these days I I plan on joining yet and having a recreational property to go to so I can do the fun stuff but right now I'm I'm a, a suburb guy uh, so I've got to work with what I've what I've got uh, anyhow again thank you for stopping in uh, I appreciate you spending some time with me and uh, take care and my best to your families <laughs>